Hey guys, I am here to do a tutorial for an updo, a protective updo. And I think I'll also be using this for a contest entry for YouTube Hair Care's con YouTube Hair Care's contest that's currently going on. So I'll show you what I'll be using before we get started. I'll be using water since my hair is dry right now. Some Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. Cantu Shea Butter Daily Oil Moisturizer. Also, Eco Styler Gel. White Tooth Comb. Just regular bobby pins. And also, black rubber bands. Okay. So as you can see here, I parted my hair in three sections. This will be the bang. I want to lean a little more to the left, well, a lot more to the left. So I've parted it so accordingly and put that away till later. I always do my bangs last. And the two sections in the back, I've parted diagonally. And I just finger parted that because the part will not be visible with this style. And a little side note, if your hair is shorter and you want a little more fullness due to your length, I would suggest taking a little piece of each of these two sections and leaving out a third middle portion. And um, what you're going to do with that piece will be the last step to the back here that I'll show you. So, we can begin. Okay guys, so I have completed this side with the twists. And we'll be doing this part at the end. So I'll just get this out of the way and repeat the twister on this side. So I have finished the side with the twist. Four on this side and five on this side. Now what we'll do, it's basically going to be finger coiling. So I'm going to add coconut oil to my ingredient, um, products used.
Okay, so I have done the outskirts to make sure the rubber bands are covered with one piece from each twist. And now I'm just going twist by twist and filling in the spaces, working my way up to the top with finger coils. Okay, so you see how it's done. I'll go ahead and finish the rest of these and come back to you when it's time for the bang. Okay, down to the last two. Just want to give you another quick little view of how I'm doing these. Making sure to fill in all the little holes. And this one is at the top, so I want to be sure to make give it a finished look. And what I've been doing is just pinning at the tip. At the end of the coil. And with doing that, I've been able to use pretty much just one pin per coil. This end up being about five, four or five twist coils per each twist I've had. Fairly quick process though. And a lot of pans. I needed one more. And you want to be sure to start at the bottom so it just doesn't look just puffy. And keep it nice and tight. Okay. 